What's up everybody, welcome if you're new here, if not, welcome back. My name is Mike and today I'm gonna to take you through the install of the Mishimoto Baffled Oil Catch Can on my 2018 JL Wrangler. Here's a list of the tools you're gonna to need. Install should take about 30 minutes. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually attach these hose connections to your oil catch can. And it's recommended that you use some engine oil to apply to these O-rings before you attach them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my dipstick I'll just use the oil that I get off that. And once you got those, you can start those on your oil catch can. Once you get them hand tight, you're gonna to wanna to use your seven eighths to snug them up. I never knew what kind of foot poundage snug was, but it is caution not to over tighten. So when you get to what feels like the stopping point, and it feels pretty positive, I just wanna give it a little bit more right there. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get rid of your engine cover. With your number 10. One didn't want to come off. The next thing you're going to want to do is to disconnect the breather hose from the crankcase. That's this one right here. And on this side, you push it together and you have to, you have to squeeze it kind of hard, but it should let loose at that point. It should be relatively easy to disconnect. If it's fighting you at all, then it's you're not actually pushing it hard enough in the right places. It's got this like grip kind of feeling and it disconnects pretty easy. So it's right here. These right here, you have to push and they, they have this grip on the side. So you know exactly where you need to push. You push in there real hard and it disconnects pretty easy. This one has a little gray clip. You push. And then it should come off pretty easy like that. So it's this gray clip, you push that to where it comes all the way in. You see this is the how it's retained right here. And you just push and you should be able to break that loose. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is remove your intake sensor. Has a little clip on this side. Push down here and slides right out. Take these two 10 millimeter bolts out Next, you wanna swap out to an eight millimeter and take these two worm gear clamps, loosen them up so you can remove your intake pipe.
switch back over to a 10 millimeter and loosen up the two bolts on either side of your vacuum pump. Next, you need to place your bracket underneath the vacuum pump. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take the provided 2.5 millimeter Allens. Come on, focus. There you go. These come on the top. I'm gonna to take these and attach it to the bracket. And once you have those started, just tighten them down. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna transfer this breather hose, little elbow from your crankcase breather to the longer of your coolant hoses that come with your Mishimoto kit. Make sure you attach one of these uh, clamps with the worm gear. reattach your hose back to your crankcase you hear that nice click and we're going to feed it around your intake Again, this is a seven millimeter. Next, you're gonna attach your exit hose to, there, make sure it clicks on there. One last clamp, and this goes on your out. And tighten down your worm gear. Once you've completed that step, you're essentially done with your install. Now you just have to reassemble all your factory components. Starting with your intake. Tighten 
tightened up your worm gears using your number eight. Then reattach your intake using your two number 10 bolts. And finally reattach your dust cover. Minus the dog hair. All right, guys, that's it for this one. That's pretty much uh, about as easy of an install as you can make it. Um, I'm only sweating because it's super hot. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Share it on the social medias if you got uh, friends that are interested in Mini Mishimoto products. I'll leave links down in the description. I appreciate you guys taking the time with me, and I'll see you in the next one. So once more, this is what it's supposed to look like. You have the elbow, your factory elbow, that connects to your new hose that comes around to the forwardmost, this is the front of the vehicle, the forwardmost hose uh, connection, which is your in port. This is your out port, and this comes up, sorry, up, and attaches back to your, where your factory other elbow was into your intake. All right.